Hello, this is SMB12. Today, I'm going to do something different. And I'm going to talk about StickBot Off The Grid. Now, if you don't know what StickBot Off The Grid is, it's about this StickBot named Striker who tries to save his love pixel from an evil person named Vampra. On the way, he meets friends and foes. So, yeah, you could get the idea. It was an action pack adventure, but it also had some scary imagery, which made it interesting and also better. But I'm not going to talk about that. What I'm going to talk about is a character named Regalius. Now, if you don't know who's Regalius, he's supposed to be this dictator and the main villain of season six of Off the Grid, which is the season finale, by the way. But what if I told you that something shocking that he is actually the hero who cares about the grid so to make this theory i had to watch all the episodes of off the grid again because it's been a long time so i watched all seasons all episodes okay so let's start with season one so Regalius builds these machines that will help protect the grid and security anyone that tries to leave it. Because he said that there are dangerous beings out there. Which, he is telling the truth. Because when you actually think about it, there is danger everywhere outside of the grid. He tells Striker to stay and don't save Pixel because it's dangerous. But Striker wouldn't listen. Make that sense to our citizens. I'm trying to rescue Pixel and the other stickbots. Face it, Striker. They're gone. And even if you were to somehow leave the grid, where would you go? Get out of my house, Regalius. In any case, Striker, stop trying to leave. The stickbots of the grid don't need to see their beloved sheriff trying to abandon them. Stay in the grid. The grid is safe. So Regalius cares for Stryker, it'll be explained more in the later seasons. But if he was truly evil, he would like tell Stryker to get out of here, you don't need to know anything. But no, he wants him to stay. This doesn't want you figuring out the truth. What truth? That there's a world out there. A world beyond the grid. Why wouldn't he want me to know about that? Because he's right where he wants to be, Stryker. On top and in charge. He doesn't want the grid to get worse. But he won't make the sacrifice to make it better. He won't risk opening up the grid to new threats. Threats? And Regalius is right about that. Because when Stryker left to save Pixel, things actually got worse. More stickbots died. And it's all because of Stryker. Stryker should have never left the grid. Because when he does, Vamprock is afraid that Stryker might stop her. So she decides to use the stickbots to make a robot army and gain more power. It's also a fact that later in season one, he also helps this weird, creepy nightmare thing. And she gives him this cup and he drinks it. Which, I'll also explain why you need to know this. Just remember this. I'll explain in season five. Okay, so now we're going to season two. And in season two, it's fact that Regalius went to war with Stryker. If you don't believe me, hear this. This is Captain Stryker. This is Field Commander Regalius. This is some for information that maybe Regalius and Stryker had some kind of um, friendship or something. And it's also said in the Wikipedia that they went to war together to fight for the Great Stickbot War. So yeah, it is fact. And also, maybe Regalius actually made an alliance with Vampra because... He actually wanted to save the stickbot race. He didn't want them to go extinct. He wanted to help. So, since the war they were losing, he had no choice but to alliance with Vampra. And he prom- she promised if he does anything, then she wouldn't make the race go extinct. Hi, Lord Vampra. What a pleasant surprise. Regalius. Since you're so busy, I'll spare you the details. As a result of the destruction of Facility 7, Stickbot quota will need to be increased. But hi, Lord. I just sent you 50 Stickbots. Then send 50 more. Won't the people of the grid become concerned? 
50 stick bots, Regalius. Send them. Before I give you something to be concerned about. You heard what she said. She didn't mean him. She probably meant the entire race. So Regalius has no choice but to do this so he could save and protect the race. As you all know, in order for us to survive, some of us must be sacrificed. Why, Regalius? Where are they going? Why do we have to keep making these sacrifices every month? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. What are you going on about? Are we in danger? It's time for answers, Regalius. Yeah. 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 All right, settle down. I told you before, the reason we're sending them away is to keep whatever is hunting us in the grid out of the grid by hunting them instead. That is a horrible idea. Who put you in charge? This wouldn't be happening if Stryker was around. Stryker isn't here. And stop your whining. If it wasn't for my efforts in trying to negotiate with the threat we face, we would all be gone. There wouldn't be a single stick bot left in the grid. Why can't we fight back? Because we'll all die if we do. That's a load of scrap metal. We've overcome impossible challenges in the past before. We can do it again. Put that gun down before you hurt yourself. You don't know what you're doing. I served on the front line in the Great Stickbot War. I know exactly what I'm doing. Let all those stickbots behind you go. You don't know what you're dealing with. Oh, yes, I do. A cowardly purple stickbot who let all the power scramble his circuits. Striker would never have let you get away with this. Striker abandoned the grid. He's a traitor. Striker is a hero. And he'll be back. Kill him. What's done is done. When you actually think about it, Regalius actually cares for the race and doesn't want them to go extinct. And we also hear that in Season 4. Just watch. I like what you've done with the place. Tapestry is quite nice. You like it? My testament to my greatest victory during the Great Stickbot War. Your victory? Last I recall, it was Stryker that defeated that monster. Eh, whatever. Speaking of Stryker, how is he? He's dead. Oh. He's gone to the grid above. You seem a little sad, Regalius. A fellow stickbot has died. That doesn't quite make me happy. That's ironic coming from you. I did what I had to do, but I don't take pride in those decisions. Vampra's gone now. The grid is safe. Speaking of Vampra, her stupidity has cost quite a fortune in our last operation. We'll be requiring compensation for those losses. You can't be serious. Don't forget you're talking to the new High Lord. Don't think because Vampra's gone you can act all high and mighty. Your position is a disposable one. All right, that's enough out of you. Jacob, escort Lenny. <gasps> ah, Lord Regalius. Oh. Ah. Ah. See, disposable. Lucius is in charge now, and if you want to keep your comfortable position here, you best remember that. We have no further need for stick boss from the grid. Your tribute instead will be as before. Oh, and last thing, we're watching you. Are you all right, sir? Make preparations to fortify our defenses. We're not giving them what they want. This just changes everything. Now, in Season 5... With me out of the picture, Regalius has taken full control. But power comes hand in hand with paranoia. His fear has prompted him to spread his spies all over the lands. His agents and henchmen roam freely, recruiting more and more to serve him. And that spells danger. So, in Season 5, his attitude changes a little bit. Well, this time, he's now against Stryker for some reason, which kind of makes no sense, because in Season 4, he cared for Stryker like a brother. He actually felt bad for doing all this stuff, but in Season 5, it kind of changes a little. Unless, if there's a reason why he's like this, let me explain. What if I told you something shocking? More shocking than ever. That Regalius wasn't a true villain, neither striker. 
nor the citizens in the base of the grid. It's none of those guys. Like, Regalius is not the villain because he doesn't even kill the citizens. Like, oh, he's better than all the other bad guys, like, in comparison. And plus, if anybody says anything wrong to him, he just tells a troop to electrocute them and take them to prison. That's not that bad. But why is he doing this all now? Why is his attitude changed? Why is he against Stryker even though he cared for him in the past? Well, like I said, there was someone else that was the true villain. By the way, I'll save it to the end. But first, remember that cup I told you to remember? Well, guess what? It turns out Vampra's alive and she tells Pixel that the cup technically is a curse and if you have it around you then it will curse, like it will send monsters from the Nightmare Realm. And since Striker drank it, he probably has the curse and he could send monsters without even knowing. I want you to also remember that for the end of the video. Okay, anyways... So Regalius is angry that his men are dying, so he probably want to avenge them. I mean, it doesn't sound like it, but come on, we've seen him have feelings for Stryker, so maybe he's trying to hide it. But he also um like spend most of his money for the machines and weaponry. He's doing this for the soldiers, not for himself. If he was truly evil, he would have wasted the money. For himself, but no, instead he wasted it more for the troops because he actually cared and he actually wants to avenge. Anyways, we're getting to season six, so I'm finally gonna reveal the true villain of Off the Grid. And the villain of Off the Grid is drumroll, please. It's Goldie, it's Goldie, of course. And you're gonna say, Wait, what? How? And let me explain. So you see, in the past, when Goldie was a child, she was kidnapped by Regalia's troops. And this was in the past when Vampra took over. So Goldie is still angry and blaming it all on Regalius and his troops, even though it's not Regalius's fault. This was actually all Vampra's. Like, Regalius had no control. He had no choice. But... Goldie was so mad, she still blamed it on him anyway and decided to make an alliance to go against them because even they lost family members. It's said by one of Agralius's own commanders. Location centers. Civilians and children were made to fight in the war. All stickbots are programmed since creation with a purpose. Some are more combat-oriented like Stryker. Others are imbued with higher thinking like you. But those values can be warped. Reallocated. A stickbot's base nature can be changed to fit what is needed. And at that time, the grid needed soldiers. You took my sister from me. I tore hundreds of families apart for the cause. <sighs> so, since that happened, it means that Stryker and Regalius did this, but they only did this to help save the race because they were losing. They had no choice. And... Plus, it was the only way. It was like one of the wrong things for the right reasons. And it was the only way so the race could survive. But since they lost the war, Vampra took over. But yeah, that's a different story. Meanwhile, Regalius is actually um, training um, his own troops to fight into war to stop the threats. Which, by the way... When you think about it, why is there even a war at this point? Like, literally, every citizen stickbot is in peace besides the ones that go against Regalius. Like, there's actually no real reason for this war. Like, seriously. Like, unless if I told you that, like, remember, Goldie's the villain, and you ask why. Since Goldie was mad... Because of what Regalius did. Because he had no choice. Goldie made a, an, um, a lot like a resistance to go against Regalius. Not for peace or for anything. But Goldie was doing this for revenge. That is the secret truth. Goldie wasn't doing this for any peace but for revenge. So she probably 
threatened Regalius and said that Stryker would defeat you and you'd lose and blah, 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 because she probably said that. And that made Regalius scared. And he went against Goldie and the other resistance. So there is no need for this war. This is actually all because of Goldie. Like, she's probably made the resistance because she wants vengeance. It's also shown since Goldie actually killed a lot of troops with no mercy. No joke. Just look at these scenes. Sentry unit, we've been wiped out. Single stick butt. The armored one. He's unstoppable. Ah! Wait, wait. I surrender. Where is Pixel? I, I don't know. Oh, I think you do. You don't know what you're talking about. You've got three seconds. Wait, I'll talk. She's at the abandoned cathedral. Ah. Leave me alone. Leave you alone? Do you want me to leave you alone after all you've done to me? You've taken everything from me. I have no memory. I have no home. This is the worst of her. Literally. She is doing this and there's no reason for this war. When the other stick butts on her piece, you gotta ask, aren't they like captives? Well, not really because we don't really see that much of that. No, I, not, actually we never see that. And plus... There's already peace. Regalius actually wants peace. It's just that the last thing he wants to do is defeat the um, resistance because the resistance is threatening him. And that's not even a lie. What's also truly shocking is that Regalius actually isn't killing any innocents at all. Like, like I know there was this one episode where he, like, um... Said like he had these innocent um stick bots with him, captive, and if Striker doesn't come, he, they'll be killed. But soon, and soon, you like one of the troops say that they're not innocent and they actually work for the resistance. Perimeter guards been wiped out. Let's move out. What do we do about them? Get rid of them. They served our purpose in drawing Stryker out. <laughs> oh, goody. I know in that scene what they were doing was kind of wrong, but literally, they're in war, and plus, the Resistance did the same thing. The Resistance killed the troops of Regalius that surrendered, so that doesn't make the Resistance any better. They're just Anyways, equally just like we Regalius' troops. We get this troops. kind of insult Stryker says to Regalius, even though he could say... So much better things like, listen, Regalius, maybe you could change and what's actually going on and what's this war about? Or maybe, Regalius, we don't have to do this war. We could just be done and, you know, we could all like um hang out and stuff like it could be all everything could be back to normal. But no, instead, he says this stuff. Striker, I'm not sure what's been happening while I was gone, Regalius, but don't think it'll last. Huh, so you've beaten Destroyer. No matter. No matter? You sound just like Vampra. A cheap budget discount store, Vampra. Be quiet. I will crush you in the Rebellion and everything you care about. Keep telling yourself that. See you soon. Striker? Striker! <laughs> wow, Striker. Unbelievable. You could have said anything else that could have been nicer and, you know, maybe say what's actually going on. But, no, you know, no. Anyways... So Raptus is alive, and th they find more information about what actually is going on, and they find they okay. So maybe okay. Let's just say maybe they pro maybe they know about what like where Striker was in the past, like he did in the Nightmare World. Maybe I think because Raptus saw this and he knows about those worlds. So. Like, remember, in season one, Raptus said stuff like that. So, maybe um, Regalius now know, has more information of what happened to Stryker, and that's how he knows that Stryker is alive. 
And maybe, maybe Regalius also knows about the curse Stryker has, which you could also debate because Stryker drank the Nightmare Cup, you know what I mean, remember? So, um, what else is, maybe that's another reason why Regalius is also against Stryker and tries to kill him. So then he can bring to store peace and happiness. Let me explain, because remember, I told you to remember the cup in the ending. And also, um, what even makes him more scared is that um, the curse could go anywhere and could doom anybody. So, like, we saw that in Season 4 where Pixel took the cup with her and it actually doomed an entire base when the Ravens attack. So, and it, so that means the cup could be, like, like so you're going to, so I ask, wait, if you have the cup around you, then what's the point of drinking it? Like... And then I thought maybe when you drink it, you'd actually permanently be cursed with a, with something that would bring monsters from around. That might make more sense because if you just have it, it just curses you for a little while unless you get rid of it. But anyways, the other reason the other reason Regalius might be against Striker because he might think that he's act like Striker's the bad guy. He might think because remember I said Goldie and. The resistance are still mad, so they just want vengeance. So that's why Regalius is afraid. So it all makes sense now. So Regalius hires a bunch of bounties to stop Striker and the resistance in the final showdown. Also, another reason why Regalius cares about the grid. Well, just hear this. I know it sounds a little ruder, but he still cares. He must be hiding it. <gasps> My lord, you do care. Silence. So, it looked like Regalius was about to win. There might have been peace around Stickbot Manity. But there was one problem. His bounties were dumb. What are you doing? I'm not paying you to sit around. Speaking of payment, where's my money? Your money? Ah, yes, your money. I have it. No, you don't. Well, you see, with all of the expenditures on updated equipment and... Ah, uh, I see. So paying us was not your top priority. No, 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 that's not what I mean. I see how it is. We'll be collecting that payment, one way or another. Bye. Oh. Uh. Yeah, the bounties were dumb. And then soon Regalius loses. I did say spoiler warning, right? And after he loses, I guess the um, resistance get their revenge, which was pointless because it made a lot of men lose their lives. So this war was pointless and they should have never like went against Regalius. Yeah. And Stryker doesn't spare Raptus's life, which he committed mm, stick bot slaughter. Ish. I can't believe that. Seriously, we're supposed to be rooting for the new resistance? I root more for Regalius because Regalius has more of the reasonable idea. So, our so called heroes won the war. Yeah, I don't call them heroes. I'm rooting for Regalius. Anyways, after winning, you think there'll be peace and happiness. Well, guess what? That's not what happens. Because instead, remember that cup striker drink? Of course you do. I already told you a million times. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, he cursed the entire city. And now the stickbot race is doomed. And it's all our hero's fault. Everybody's doomed. Just like Regalia said. You'll pay for this, Striker. You'll all pay. Huh. I guess Regalius wasn't exaggerating. I guess he was right. Striker did pay. Yep. And that's the theory that concludes Regalius is the true hero. And so that concludes the video of this theory. So am I saying Regalius is a good guy? 
Well, no. I mean, he's done some bad stuff, but he is a hero to the stickbot race. That's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes you have to crack some eggs. So, it may. There are also some heroes we know that done some horrible things to do the right thing. And I'm saying is Regalius actually has good sides and good character. This actually makes Regalius better to be known as a hero of the grid, the true hero. By the way, what's your favorite season? Comment down below. Probably not, I don't know. 